Hi, this is Coach Colette, host of the Start Within podcast, and welcome to this week's episode of Financial Fridays. Well, March is Women's History Month. Like I said last month in February for Black History or Heritage Month, it's not just one month in which we celebrate and recognize achievements for any group. That being said, Monday, March 8th, is International Women's Day which is a global day to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. It's also a day that marks a call to action for accelerating gender parity. This year's theme is Choose to Challenge, which is a call to action for all of us to call out inequity wherever we see it. We want to remember that an inclusive mindset, tangible action are needed from all of us if we are to make change in our world. Another aspect of the theme is that from challenge comes change. So when you think about it, when you have been challenged, when you have faced obstacles and you were able to overcome them, it's likely that you experienced some change within yourself and you likely left a change in the situation, in your world, amongst your contacts, wherever it was. So we know that there's still a continuing need globally for more progressive mindsets and to practice more inclusive behaviors and that we need to challenge stereotypes and promote more diverse representation in all fields, whether that be in the political sphere, in the workplace, in the media, wherever. One of the themes that I also find interesting, and I created a post on Instagram about this that I would like to discuss, It is a quote from Kimberly Williams Crenshaw, who coined the term intersectionality way back in 1989. And the quote that I shared was, intersectionality draws attention to invisibilities that exist in feminism, in anti-racism, in class politics. So obviously it takes a lot of work to consistently challenge ourselves, to be attentive to aspects of power that we don't ourselves experience. And this concept of intersectionality, this interweaving, if you will, of our various social identities. As a black woman, I know that I experience different reactions from people for all sorts of reasons, and that has to do with the different identities. And yet I am one person, so I can't necessarily separate them. I am me, I am whole. So it's important that we look at this concept of intersectionality and remind ourselves that we all have different experiences. We're all experiencing perhaps unconscious bias from others due to different aspects of our social identities. And that's why it's so important for diverse representation and to call out stereotypes and inequity wherever we see it. So as you get ready for this weekend and as we navigate through this whole month of March, How will you choose to challenge? How will you choose to step up and call out inequity when you see it? Sometimes it can be scary. Sometimes it can put you in a vulnerable place. Just remember though, when you step up and you call it out, you make it easier for the next person to do so. And remember, 
change comes from challenge, so we all can take this step. That's all for me for now. Get ready and listen up to today's tip from Suki Singh. Hello, everyone. This is Suki Singh, a.k.a. Investing of the Investing Podcast with your weekly financial Friday tip. Now is the time to prep for a rainy day. Do you have emergency funds? Is this something that you've been planning for? Now is the time to save for your emergency just in case you have that. You never know what can happen in this day and age, so save up. All right, with that said, that is your weekly financial Friday tip, and I'll speak to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Hey, it's Coach Colette. You may have felt like you just survived 2020. What would it be like to thrive in 2021? Notwithstanding the external forces over which you have no control, what would it be like to make even a small shift this year? Can you imagine what it will be like at the end of this year when you reflect on all that you have created? It is possible when you start within, and I'd like to help you do it. You can visit my website, startwithincoaching.com, and at the top, click Start Here to schedule your complimentary activation call. We can talk about what's going on in your life right now and where you'd like to be. So go to startwithincoaching.com, click Start Here, And let's start your journey within. Hey, it's Coach Colette with this week's Unplugged episode. Well, March marked another milestone. It's been one year since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic. And there have been so many other grim milestones that we have collectively experienced due to this pandemic. And the pandemic has shined a light on many of the inequities in our world, whether that be in terms of health care, whether that be in terms of economics, whether that be in terms of jobs. And so within the theme of Choose to Challenge for our International Women's Month, what is it that you choose to challenge? What is it that you choose to call out? I've also spent time during this past year and have probably also mentioned it on this podcast, trying to find the silver linings in this pandemic cloud. For me, in terms of my business, this weekend will mark one year since my last in-person speaking engagement. I can recall that first weekend in March of 2020, preparing to speak at Luminary at a women's summit. And I remember being aware of COVID-19, and we were in that just, you know, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer phase. But I remember saying to myself, right, don't shake hands and, you know, try to keep your distance. And I can recall at the end of the event that we had such a fantastic experience, tons of women. I remember at the end, you know, hugging people on the way home and, and high-fiving and all of the things, you know, that you shouldn't do in a pandemic. And then pretty much that following week, everything went into lockdown. For me personally, I, as you know, have been solo quarantining for this whole year now. Not to say that I didn't live alone before the pandemic, but definitely have had a million more experiences of being alone. It's interesting. It reminds me of the quote that I think has originally been attributed to Confucius, 
And there is also a book by John Kabat-Zinn called Wherever You Go, There You Are. And I definitely feel like I have lived that. It has deepened my mindfulness practice, my morning meditation and energy clearing, my evening meditation and breath work have really helped me to survive and navigate through these times. And not just survive, at times actually feeling like maybe I'm thriving. My other silver lining has been the deepened connection with my parents. Although we have chosen to not be together in person, face to face, pretty much since May, we've been doing weekly whether it's Zoom or Facebook portal chats. And that has allowed me to stay in touch and have this conversation with them and be able to not just tabs on them, but really to talk about what's been happening over this past year. The other silver lining is last week, my parents got their first COVID vaccination. So There is a glimmer of hope of what Mother's Day, Father's Day, and our remaining birthdays this year might look like. So I invite you to reflect on your year of COVID, because if you are listening to this podcast right now, you have made it through the year. What are your silver linings in the cloud of COVID? What have you learned about yourself? How have you deepened your resilience, flexed your resilience muscles? Have you developed new good habits that you want to carry forth with you even beyond COVID? And to also look at what are the areas in which you are still looking to improve or enhance. That's okay too. No one could have predicted what this year would be like. I doubt that many of us had any kind of an experience what it would be like to live through a global pandemic. And so now, as we look back, it's an opportunity to harvest those lessons learned and to plant new seeds for what it is that we would like to create and manifest as we continue to walk into a brighter light and hopefully step from under the cloud of COVID. Not necessarily to go back 100% to the way things were before, but to create a new reality. And we do have a choice. You do have choices. Even when it seems like there are many things that we can't control, you still have a choice about how you respond to what's happening to you. Those are my thoughts and reflections for now. Take care of yourself. Nourish yourself. Squeeze in some self-care, some self-love. And we'll be speaking again soon. If you enjoyed this episode and haven't already subscribed, you can do so on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you like to listen. You also can connect with me on Instagram at coach underscore Colette for more inspiration on personal growth and wellness. Want to help us create more great content and host more live podcast events? Then join our Start Within tribe and support this podcast with a small donation to help sustain our future episodes. Visit anchor.fm slash coach hyphen Colette slash support to get started today. You know, this podcast is truly my passion project. And I really appreciate your continued support. Get ready to start within to finish strong.